Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer, thanks to Master Cardiology for this one. Amy animates Ink with Nexus and wants to make her the Mycosynth Garden into a copy of it. Is this possible? If so, what will happen? Okay, so if we were being asked to pay Inkmuth Nexus's mana cost, we would have a problem because Inkmuth Nexus does not have one, so that wouldn't be possible. The Mike Synth Gardens isn't asking us to do that, though. It only wants us to pay X, where X is the targeted artifact's mana value. That's great news for Amy because there's this rule here, which defines that any permanent with no mana cost has a mana value of zero. So it is possible to copy Inkmuth Nexus, and you wouldn't even have to pay any mana into it X to do so. Now that we know that it's possible, let's take a look at how it would work. Anytime you're copying something, you don't get to copy any other types of continuous effects that are acting on the thing that you're copying. I like to think of it like this. You take that thing that you're copying and you put it on the copy machine and you hit the copy button. Whatever comes out, you paste that right on top of the mic synth gardens. Just like any continuous effects are not copied, any counters that are acting on the thing that you're copying will also not be copied. So with that in mind, you can see what we would end up with. It would just be a normal, unanimated Inkmuth Nexus. If you wanted to animate it, you could do that exactly the same as if you were animating a normal Inkmuth Nexus, but until you did, it would be a land and it wouldn't be a creature or even an artifact. One other potentially important note that I wanted to cover before I sign off. Any other types of continuous effects are not copied, but copy effects are. So let's say that you played a Vesuva after you did this and you wanted it to enter as a copy of the Mike Synth Gardens. Would that Vesuva end up looking like an Inkmuth Nexus or a Mike Synth Gardens? So we'll take the card that we're copying right over to the copy machine and hit that copy button. Because the Inkmuth Nexus's information has been pasted on top of the Mike Synth Gardens, that's what gets copied, and that's what we're going to paste on top of the Vesuva. So the Vesuva will enter the battlefield tapped, but otherwise looking exactly like a normal, unanimated Inkmuth Nexus. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.